Hello everyone, Dusty here. Welcome to a new video tutorial. Today I'm going to be showing you from start to finish how to live stream console games. Uh, whether you want to stream on Twitch, YouTube, Mixer, Facebook, it really doesn't matter. Um, and I'm going to be letting you know now what we're going to be using. All of it is free except for the hardware. You have to have a capture card in order to pipe in the console games to be able to stream. Now, obviously, you can stream from, say, the Xbox One camera uh, or the PS4 uh, camera. There's different ways you can stream directly from, like, the webcam on, on some of those consoles. But we're talking about an actual full-fledged stream. Uh, so we're going to be using Streamlabs OBS, uh, which is free. Uh, and I'm going to be using Elgato uh, HD60S that is a capture card. So you don't have to have an Elgato capture card. I use them because I prefer them. Uh, I had an Elgato HD uh, before and now I have an HD60S. Uh, these are going to be the capture cards that I plug in. And I'm going to be showing you now with a nice little Photoshop image that I put together how to hook up your capture card in order to go ahead and get the uh, console games to be displayed so you can start streaming them. Look at the image here, it's pretty self-explanatory. You plug in an HDMI cable to the HDMI out of your console or your system into the HDMI in of your capture card. Then from the HDMI out of your capture card, that goes into your HDMI in of your monitor or TV that you're playing the game on. Now, obviously, I recommend having dual monitors or a monitor and a TV here. That way you can kind of monitor what's going on. But again, your system may be different than mine. Pause the video here if you need to figure out how to set up the consoles to where you're getting it piped into the stream. So that's how you set it up. Now, we are back over here, and I have the newest version of the Elgato gaming software pulled up. This is just to see and make sure that the system is being piped in. You really don't have to do this. This is just an extra step that I take to make sure that the systems are hooked up and they are working. Now, once you've done this, once you see the system, once you see the console being piped in via the uh, capture card software that you're using, go ahead, open that software, make sure it's working, go ahead and close out. Because if you have this open, uh, when you open OBS or Streamlabs OBS, it will not work. So as you can see here, if I go to Streamlabs with my capture card software open, it's going to say one moment, please, or it's being used by another piece of software. So go ahead, close out of the software like I'm doing right now. So I'm going to go ahead and X out of the software and it may take a few seconds for it to come back on. You may even have to close and open. But as you can see now within Streamlabs OBS, I'm going to go ahead and maximize the window. Now you can see I have my Nintendo Switch. Everything that I do is going to be mirrored right here. So I am ready to stream console games. All right, so now that we are in Streamlabs OBS, and as you can see, I have my Nintendo Switch being streamed here. This is what I want to be streamed. Uh, I'm going to show you how to go ahead and pull this up on OBS, on Streamlabs OBS. You need to add a source, and that source needs to be a video capture device. So again, go over here to your, your stream, go to add a source, whether it be in Streamlabs OBS or OBS, click the addition symbol there. The thing that you want to add is a video capture device, okay? So video capture device, and then as you can see here, it'll show you this can be a webcam, a capture card, which is obviously what we're doing now, and then click the green button here that says add source. Now. I already have it here. Mine is either a webcam or the, the whatever, but for you, you want to add a new source. Click add new source. As you can see, you'll have a drop down menu here. If you've hooked it up correctly, like I've shown you previously, you should see your game capture card right here under devices. Click that, then click the green done button. And now you're able to, as you can see here, if I go here and I hide the other one that I had earlier, uh, you'll probably need to go here and adjust the actual size of it, just like this. Again, you want to make it work the way you want to make it work. So I'm going to go ahead and hide this one and make my other one visible. You need to make sure that you make it the full size. So make sure that under properties of your video capture device here, make sure the resolution is 1920 by 1080. Uh, and if you want to, you can even go here and configure the video. If we hit the configure video, this will actually bring up the capture card software, as you can see here. And I can go here and change my profile to be 1080p, 780. I can even change the input device, which really this doesn't matter, I found. But again, if you want to switch that over to say, like, you know, what I have is the Nintendo Switch, you can do that by clicking that there and you're good 
to go. Now, the last thing that I want to show you, once you have all of this set up, once you have your video capture set up as a source on your stream, and you're taking a look here, and you're seeing that, oh, it is piping in, you're ready to go. And again, if you want to know how to add your webcam and all of that good stuff, I have a full Streamlabs OBS tutorial. I will link th to that down below. Um, but now we've got to figure out audio. All right, and as you can see here, not only is my USB microphone audio interface working, uh, the video capture device is working as well. Now, there's a lot of workarounds um, for this, but your video capture device, the way that I figured it out is I plug my headphones into the headphone jack of either the system or the monitor or TV that I'm working with or whatever sound source that I'm using. So what you have to do is capture the audio coming from the system. And so in order to do that, uh, over here where it says mixer, I'll click the little gear icon. And then as you can see here, the video capture device, okay, all of the monitoring is off. I can do that through my headphones by plugging it into the system. Uh, the video capture device is the capture card that we're using. And so if you don't have that as an actual audio source, it's pretty simple to add to that. Um, and so basically, Basically, all you want to do is, is right here where you see the mixer here. Basically, what you want to do is under sources, go to add. So click the addition symbol there. And then where you see um, audio, audio input capture, that's going to be where you add that source. Uh, but as soon as you add the video capture device as a source, you should see it under mixer here. You should see it as an audio capture device. And then what I normally do is I take that a pretty good, you know, a good ways down because you want your audio for your microphone to be much higher than the audio coming in from your system. Hopefully you guys found some value out of this. If you have any further questions about how to set up console uh, gaming with streaming, please let me know. Put those in the comment section below and I will answer those as soon and as quickly as I can as well as the community here will do that as well. Thank you guys as always for watching my videos and I will see you guys in the next one.